Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna go over the best e-commerce websites out there and the features that set them apart. When I first set out with e-commerce, I was totally clueless. There were so many paid and promotional ads for different websites that would be extremely misleading and lead me up to nothing. But by learning a thing or two from my experience, I can now outline the best e-commerce websites out there, such as Shopify, WooCommerce, and Magento. So let me share my experience with you after using these three websites. Also tell you which one I decided to go with in the end and why. Now, if at any point you'd like to check out Shopify, which I'll be talking about more later on, check out the link in the description below to get a deal of a buck a month for the first three months, along with a free three-day trial period, which you won't get by going directly to their website. So the first platform that I tried out was Shopify, and immediately after setting up an account, I noticed how simple and user-friendly it was. Unlike some other platforms, Shopify is really straightforward to use. It's designed with simplicity in mind, making it easy to set up and manage your online store, even if you're not a tech expert. Frankly speaking, I'm not tech savvy at all, and I don't have any coding experience. But with drag and drop features, I was easily able to customize the design and layout of my online store without much technical skills. Now, I also noticed that Shopify has a pretty useful app store, which is like a marketplace where I was able to find various tools and features to enhance my store. From marketing apps to customer support tools and inventory management, you name it, there's a feature. And on top of that, all of Shopify's plans come with unlimited email forwarding, web hosting, unlimited bandwidth, and a content delivery network that lets you achieve optimal performance. What's more is that I also noticed that Shopify provides a helpful analysis that gives me an overview of my sales and customers' behavior. These tools help me improve my marketing strategies, which ultimately help me increase my sales even more. I also use their email marketing tools, which were quite helpful in reaching my new customers. But what about pricing? Unfortunately, Shopify is not offering a free plan and their basic plan costs about 39 bucks. All right, so one thing I was worried about when starting out was dropshipping, but I can say that Shopify didn't disappoint me in this department. They even provided me with special shipping rates with carriers like USPS, etc. Plus, Shopify also provided an option for shipping label printing and insurance per package as well, so that all my shipments were protected against theft and damage. Okay, the last thing that I appreciate about Shopify is when it comes to payments. Now, there are plenty of payment integrations that businesses can use along with Shopify payments. I tried using Shopify payments, which allowed me to accept credit and debit card payments without the need to use a third-party payment processor. That was one less thing for me to spend time on, so I'm glad they provided me with that. Well, what else can I say? Shopify keeps on improving over time, and I think this is something that all platforms should work on. The user's needs are always evolving with changing circumstances and it's very important for sellers to keep up with that pace. With the new improvements in Shopify, I can get on-site testimonials, provide product comparisons to my customers, give audio uploads, and suggest purchase pop-ups. I'm still a little skeptical about using the pop-up feature myself. I do understand that some people like having this feature, but as a customer, I always hated pop-ups, so for now, I've refrained from using it. Anyways, the second platform I tried out was WooCommerce, mainly because, well, it was free. Other than being free, there is another appealing feature that lets you integrate with WordPress. I didn't have a WordPress account at the time, but I really wanted to see how it worked. So I created a WordPress account just to try the feature out. As I mentioned, I was new to WordPress, so I did have a little learning to do, but it'll be easier for people who are more familiar with WordPress. Once I got the hang of it, it was really easy to transform my WordPress website into a full-fledged e-commerce store with just a few clicks and integrations. I liked how I didn't have to spend money on licensing fees or subscriptions at first. Okay, but scalability is another thing that I think is easy with WooCommerce. As your business grows and evolves, you need a platform that can keep up with your expanding needs. And WooCommerce provides that flexibility to businesses, allowing me to scale my e-commerce store effectively. Along with that, I also noticed with WooCommerce that I had access to an extensive library of plugins and extensions. So these add-ons enabled me to customize and enhance my store's functionality to suit my specific requirements. There's a plugin for almost everything that I can imagine. At that time, my requirements weren't so clear and rigid, so it did work for me. But because I had to purchase a WordPress account, web hosting, SSL certificate, and domain, I figured it was not the right option for my business, and also the learning curve was just slowing things down for me. So I moved on to try Magento. And what sets Magento apart from other platforms is their customization abilities. I had full control over the design, layout, and functionality of the e-commerce site. So whether it's customizing the user interface, setting up specific payment gateways, or integrating 
integrating third-party applications, Magento did give me the freedom to create my store according to my exact specifications, but it didn't suit me in the long run because I don't necessarily have a lot of technical expertise in this department. So if you don't have the technical skills required to modify Magento, it can be a bit difficult to navigate and scale your e-commerce store effectively. And that's why having the necessary expertise or working with skilled developers is crucial to leverage the full potential of Magento. But I do recommend it to people who are a lot more technically inclined or who are working with a developer. Now, you must have already gotten the idea of which platform I stuck with, and I'm still using it today. The platform has helped me reach new milestones in my business, but I'm not asking you to make the choices that I made because obviously my business needs are different than yours. But if you do decide that Shopify might be right for you, check out the link in the description below that I mentioned before, where you'll get three free days as well as a buck a month for the first three months after that, which again is a deal that you won't get by going directly to their website. All right, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to share your experience in the comments down below if you're using any of these platforms so that others can benefit from your experience. And if you found this video helpful, click on the like and subscribe button for more content like this. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.